Hello there guys, Wayne from Lunar's World. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to our series in which we are exploring the Orbex True Earth Great Britain South scenery that was released uh, a few days ago now. So, um, and we're flying this series in the Icarus. Uh, this is by V-Flight Air. If you haven't seen the first couple of series, um, part one and part two, I would recommend going to check that out. Um, we're currently situated at Sandown. And um, yeah, we're going to make our way over to Solent Airfield and check out some of the uh, the southern coast there. So let's jump in our Icarus. Oops. Oh dear. Let's go forward a wee bit. There we go. Just get ourselves adjusted. That's looking about right. Maybe a tad this way. Okay, good stuff. So um, we're pretty much good to go apart from fuel and pretty much just starting her up, which we'll do so now. Okay, and we'll get this door closed. And we will uh, depart. And yeah, make our way onwards. So, let's just release the brake. We'll taxi on out. And um, yeah, I'm experiencing a jolt every now and again. And I don't know what it is. It started in the last video. I haven't worked out what it is yet. Um, so if you guys know, I'd be very interested. We're just going to backtrack. Um, or not backtrack, taxi to the uh, top of the runway. Pretty nice static aircraft there. A couple of Cessnas. Very good stuff. Yeah, so um, you'll notice it in a minute. I'm getting really good frames at the moment. Um, let's just check. Up in the 50s, I think. 48, but solid. 50, 49. Yeah, so pretty, pretty solid. So, not quite sure why that is happening. But uh, anyway, All right. I'm really, really enjoying this aircraft. Actually, it's really good to fly, and um, it's uh, it's just a lot of fun. It comes in two. Um, flavors really. Um, we've got this one and the more basic one. But yeah, they're both really, really accurate representations of this really lovely aircraft. Alright, so flaps out, out and we're pretty much ready. So here we go. It's a beautiful day for flying today. And we'll just advance the throttle and away we go. So yeah, really perfect for flying very very light winds and out we go so we should uh, have some really beautiful views of the ground below yeah the other thing is I'm getting this sort of shaking this was happening in the last one as well I do have um, the uh, XP realistic running but I'm not sure it should be shaking that violently to distort the um, the numbers, if you look at the readouts, it's, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Right, we'll start our left-hand turn. I need to investigate that more before the next video. But, um, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous down there. All right, and we'll straighten up and climb on out to about 2,000 feet. It's a little bit hazy. So if it gets a bit too much up there, um, I might reduce the haze. Obviously in the interest of being able to see the, um, the scenery down below. It doesn't look too bad actually. I've also um, changed the roads to transparent, so I don't know if you can see any difference. It, they do look paler, if that's a word. But yeah, I'm not sure about that. They look kind of American with those yellow lines or European not sure about that um, so I need to investigate roads looks like we've got a fleet of ships out here is this um, I wonder if this is the, the warrior HMS warrior they've taken out for a spin not sure I'm guessing that is part of the Orbex scenery rather than default. I don't think I've ever seen that before, so I'm pretty sure that's part of Orbex. If 
anyone knows what that what these ships are they look like warships I'd be quite interested to know my battleship knowledge is, is uh, pretty poor <laughs> so I'm sure you guys will educate me Looking very nice down there, I have to say. So what we'll do is we'll fly up towards Portsmouth, I think. And hang on, let me get my bearings. Am I talking rubbish here? So what's that one? That's the Solent. Okay. So that is Southampton. Maybe you know what? Maybe we'll go straight to Southampton. We'll go inland a bit. I think we'll do that. So we'll fly down the uh, the Solent Estuary. Uh, again, I don't know if that's the official name of it, but up, basically up here, we'll go. We'll, we'll do a flyby over the Solent. Otherwise, it's going to be a very short flight, and we'll head up up here and we'll have a look more inland. There's Bournemouth. So after there, um, let's see. We could maybe go up towards this direction, um, and, and maybe Bristol, cross over into Wales, and see see how that looks across there, and then sort of maybe through part bit of Wales, and then back up towards London, maybe from you know going over the uh, Gloucestershire or somewhere like that. But yeah, let's have a look at those ships. They're static; they're not moving, so they're actually burnt into the scenery there but that's pretty cool quite like that there's a submarine down there as well that's pretty cool interesting so yeah really liking the way they've done the coastlines and they've blended the sea perfectly with the ortho textures really really nice stuff done such a great job. I, I know I say that every video, but they really do. Every time I fly in this, it kind of just blows me away, the detail. It really does. Very, very cool. Alright, so um, normally procedural sort of uh, things going across large bodies of water, even if it is relatively a short distance, you would climb up to an altitude whereby you have your glide ratio um, uh, calculated so that if you had an engine failure in a single engine prop you'd still have enough uh, altitude to get yourself to land. Um, oh that's looking amazing down there, look at that. Pretty wing view. Very cool. Let's just dip the wing a little bit. Wow. That is beautiful. Very nice indeed. Very cool. Alright, so we've got our, the Solent Lee airfield off over there. Looks like there's a decent amount of buildings down there. Um, I have, let me show you my graphic settings. I have actually just, I've decreased them a little bit. So I've gone down from maximum here and I've also gone to maximum with the uh, texture quality and I seem to be getting a lot smoother or oh, I think I maybe I've decreased high as well but it just seems to be working really well for me um, I'm just getting a lot smoother uh, frames as you can see um, so yeah kind of really pleased with how that's all looking and more importantly how it's feeling in the air, in the aircraft so here we go. So we've got the port of Southampton, I guess, coming up here. Sort of industry. Again, really nice coastline. Amazing detail. Orbex really have nailed it, haven't they? I really think they, they, they're onto an absolute winner here. They've certainly won me over. I, I mean, I, I had most of, if not all of the Orbex products, not all of the airfields, but things like FTX Global, 
uh, land class and vector, all that stuff in prepared. And, you know, it did look good, but the issue was that it took a mighty hit on frames. And so, you know, the experience, while the eye, eye, eye candy was really good, the actual flying experience was a bit, um, well, let's put it this way, it was nothing like this. And, of course, as a pilot, that's kind of the most important thing, I think. Um, smoothness versus eye candy, it's always the dilemma. But for me, I would uh, much rather have smoothness. But luckily now in X-Plane, with all the updates and the fact that Orbex have now come over to the dark side, <laughs> um, we get the best of both worlds, which is just fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to the new update um, beta coming out, um, 11.30, which is should be any time now, really. So looking forward to that. Of course, I'll do an extensive um, video showing off all the new features and all that stuff, performance increases. That looks like kind of, kind of some kind of gas works or, I don't know. But again, very nicely done. Great detail. Liking that a lot. Cool. So there is um, Southampton. Who is that? Portsmouth. Is that Portsmouth? That could be Portsmouth. I'm losing the plot a bit here. Uh, no, that's Southampton, isn't it? Anyway, let's um, come off the throttle a little bit. And we'll start to uh, go down a wee bit and have a look at the buildings down here. Mm, I'm pretty sure that's Southampton. Can't see the tower anywhere. Yeah, that is Southampton, isn't it? Looking absolutely beautiful. Haven't noticed a huge decrease in buildings, I must say, going from maximum to high. Obviously some, but I think what you gain in performance on my system certainly is uh, makes it well worth it. All right, let's have a... Let's have a little flight down here. We'll just fly over these uh, buildings and have a closer look. Yeah, that. I'm pretty sure that is Southampton. Can't see the, uh, the tower. I've forgotten the name of the tower as well. Honestly, my brain at the moment has been extremely busy. And um, what's the name of that damn tower? There's a stadium there, that's nice. And there's a harbour, that's sort of photo, photo harbour down there, but looking good. Bit, you know, bit grainy at this height, but not too bad. You know, you don't spend your time staring uh, down at the ground when you're flying. Or if you are, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, looking really, really nice, I have to say. And yeah, very nice. They've really nailed the style of the buildings, not just the houses, but the actual tower blocks and things like that. I mean, that just looks like England to me. It's great. Really good. Okay, right. We'll, um, we'll come round and we'll head towards up the estuary here towards Southampton. But yeah, look at the smoothness. If you look at the buildings, you get no juddering or very, very few judders. Very smooth. And an incredible, insane amount of autogen. Really good stuff. All right, so we'll do a flyover, I think, over... Um, the airfield. There's very little wind today, so it's it's um, you know it would be the active runway, but 
it's uh, it's very very calm, so it could be either way. I don't know the uh, don't know Southampton. I've never never flown into Southampton. So I don't know what the preferred way is, but we'll just do a little flyover. We'll come in off the other side, the the, um, the north side. haven't done which I said I would is that um, sort out my um, my views on X camera I haven't had time to do that but I will very soon because I kind of want to have a look out the window and stuff as well that's the whole point of sightseeing right we're just about over the airfield if we look if I just dip the nose a little bit pretty much over it now so I'll just um See, now would be a good time to have camera view set up. Yeah, we're over the runway now. So we'll just uh, get ourselves prepared for a landing. Just realised I haven't turned my fuel pump off. Not much point now. And I haven't done the lights, but never mind. They're all on. So we're pretty much good to go, apart from getting configured physically for the landing. Beautiful scenery, very, very smooth. And yeah, just loving this, absolutely loving it. Let me zoom out a little bit more, actually, maybe come back a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. This is, um, other than the scenery, this is vanilla X-Plane. I'm not using um, reshade or anything like that. Um, it's not something I've ever looked into. <clears throat> but maybe, I don't know if there's anyone who can point me in the right direction. I know there's a ton of things out there for shaders and tweaking lighting and all that stuff. I wouldn't mind having a go. So if you guys have got any tips for me, let me know in the comments what you think I should, um, I should go for regarding color saturation and um, contrast and all that kind of stuff because I know there's some amazing things out there I mean part of the issue part of the reason I haven't is because I fly in VR when I'm not um, doing videos and of course those things don't work in VR in fact they can be detrimental but I can always just disable them in uh, in the uh, plugins enable disable button so why not let's give it a go there's the good old A27 again. My favourite road, not. Alright, coming round the mountain. No mountains here. This has to be one of the flattest parts of England, I think. Apart from the uh, South Downs, of course, but pretty flat. Another thing they've got right are the pylons. If you look at the pylons down there, those are definitely our pylons. <laughs> I say our, you know what I mean. Absolutely beautiful. And there's the train, train station down there. Looking a bit devoid of trains. It's because they're all stuck because there's, there's leaves on the tracks. Or it's um, well the tr the trains have stopped working because it's too sunny, or some crazy stupid uh, excuse. And for non-English people, I'm not even joking. Southern Rail are com just a total shambles, absolute nightmare. So I try to avoid at all costs trying to use them because they're just yeah. I think there's a word in the dictionary that describes how inept they are. Anyhow, right, not here to complain. We're here to have a good, relaxing time with you guys and enjoying this amazing scenery. So, last time I landed, we were coming in too fast and too high. So this time, 
we're going to try to not do that. We're pretty much on the glide slope now, and our speed is good. We ideally want that to come down to about 70. And this thing is notorious, as I said, um, for being a slippery little sucker. So she's quite hard to slow down and get it, get it right. Let's, um, let's try our best. So we're a little bit low now, so I'm just adding a bit more power. My trim is definitely not right as well. I wonder whether I've damaged the aircraft. I don't know if this simulates wear and tear. I need to look into that a bit more. Okay, we're on the glide slope now, so that's good. I'll try and remain about 200 feet a minute descent since we're already quite low. That's looking quite nice. Just making minor adjustments with the trim and also keeping the wings level. And we've, the speed has crept up again. Look at that. Down 90 knots now. It's not an issue because we've got a long runway, but it's just good practice to try and, you know, Obviously, stick to the way <laughs> the aircraft should be flown. Not always easy in the real world, as well as flight simming. But we try and do our best. That's all we can do. As you can see, not a whiff of wind here. Holding her off, holding her off, holding her off, holding her off, holding her off. There we go. Not bad. I was pretty happy with that. Alright, oops, sorry. I'll clean up, get the flaps up. Fuel pump can come off. APU on. I know, wrong aircraft. <laughs> Alright, can we come off here? Is this a. Come on. Oh no, not allowed. I oh, will do it anyway. Oops, that was a bit of a violent uh We'll break the rules. Only because I want to see what all the fuss is about with this um what this police car's doing. That's nice. We've got a dash eight there, we've got a seven is that a seven two seven I think? A tri-star. I believe. That's pretty old school. And we've got a ton of uh ground crew which is nice I've not been to Southampton Air F Airport so I can't um, advise on the accuracy but I'm guessing this looks pretty good maybe you guys can let me know it certainly looks good from this angle alright there we go and we'll go on this stand here we've got our we've got our uh, catering Standing by. There's the, there's our car to the airport, to the uh, to the airport, to the uh, Hilton Hotel. Laminar research trucks. Excellent. Let's ask them where the update is. <laughs> uh, I got a ton of abuse on Facebook for just all I typed this morning was um, was uh, something like. Uh, is it here yet? Or something like that, you know, referring to 11.30 uh, beta update. And I got a ton of abuse. All, all I was doing is creating a bit of hype, you know, because I'm excited to get it, as are a lot of people. And people were like, oh, what a stupid question to ask. It will be, you know, released when it's ready, blah, blah, blah. Today is today. Tomorrow is tomorrow. You know, and I'm just like, what? I don't know if they're just full of kids or, or what, or trolls, but man... This is the main X-Plane Facebook group. I'm so glad that uh, Mo's Facebook group, um, Flight Simulator World, Flight Simulation World, Flight Worlds, yeah. Uh, anyway, you know what I mean. Um, it's a lot more sensible in there. By the way, speaking of Mo, shout out to Mo, um, my colleague and uh, friend in the Flight Sim X-Plane arena. Um, we've not actually met, but um, we have chatted quite a bit. Um, very cool guy. He runs uh, Mo Media channel, 
and um, he's just done a survey, which I urge you to do. He's asking um, some questions about your uh, habits of um, flying simulators, uh, what aircraft, you know, what, where you go to buy it, and all that kind of stuff. He's doing a survey, um, and in uh, as repay for the, for doing the survey, you will be in for a chance to win a uh, hundred pound Amazon voucher, which is really cool. So nice one, Mo. Hope you get some people. Go and go and support Mo. Great guy, doing some great stuff in uh, the community. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that little flight. Um, we are going to be going sort of um, uh, westwards, out towards Bristol, that sort of way. We might stop off on a couple of um, airfields in the next flight. Maybe we'll do a couple of. Uh, um, touch and goes or something um checking out the scenery really enjoying this hope you're having fun as well oh yeah you can do this and then you can move move this down or up that's pretty cool it's quite a nice touch um and yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that we need to explore when i do the uh um when i do the uh, the full um review of this aircraft because it's quite powerful there's a there's a good bunch of stuff you can do in here um so yeah cool that's about it thanks for tuning in guys really appreciate it like and subscribe and all that good stuff and yeah let me know your thoughts on as i said any of those reshade things what should i get what should i check out and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts on this scenery hope you're enjoying it see you all very soon peace